Hey everyone, Jesse here and today we're out here and I'm going to see if you guys can guess. Ah, uh, come on, give it a good shot. What do you think we are? Just from looking from behind me. Okay, I'll give you another clue. Let me, let me pan around here. Let me pan around. Let me pan around here. Alright. Yeah, Sue. Alright. Yep. We are at Mount St. Helens today. And we're hiking the Boundary Trail to Coldwater Peak, which is about uh, eh, close to 12 miles. Lots of elevation gain, lots of sun, lots of heat, and lots of wildflowers and lots of beauty. Um, this uh, Mount St. Helens has always fascinated me. It's uh, it's one of those uh, when it erupted. It's one of those uh, first things I remember as a child as being a pretty dramatic event. Probably like the first, first dramatic event I ever remember as a young kid, uh, seeing that, seeing that big old mountain explode, um, and it's just, I tell you, it's almost unbelievable to see this thing in person. The, I, I'm pretty sure the video isn't isn't doing it justice. I mean, you almost feel like you can reach your hand out and touch the uh, inside of that that mountain there. Um, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous, and I have to admit, a little bit terrifying too. Uh, just to think that that mountain did so much damage like it did back in 1980. Um, but anyway, it's an absolutely gorgeous site. I highly recommend uh, coming out here and visiting this place if you get a chance. Um, they've got an observation deck. Uh, I see if you back behind me there. And you can, you can just drive up to that and get really good pictures as well. Um, I'm going to do this hike and uh, see if I can make it in and back. It's a, like I said, it's 12 miles, so that's going to be a a pretty good trek for me to to get done it's already uh around 1 30 so i'm gonna see if i can make it make it to the cold water peak and back anyway i hope everybody's having a, an absolutely gorgeous day i know i know i am right now um i hope many blessings are pouring through your life if they're not they're coming your way just hold out just wait and be patient there's always good things coming uh we'll see you in a bit i'm gonna show you some video along the way uh many blessings and god bless Take care. One of the things I loved about this hike was the abundance of wildflowers. They were everywhere. Here you can see Scarlet Indian Paintbrush. They are the little red flowers you see on both sides of the trail. I also saw a lot of purple lupin along the way as well. I hiked this trail in early July, so try to go around that time if you want to see some gorgeous flowers. Seeing all the small and colorful flowers rising up from the blast zone was just a nice reminder for me that we should always have hope and that beauty in life truly always finds a way. Stop staring 
You've put a spell on me And I hope That you never Decide to set me free The way you're moving It's got me moving my own feet The greatest feeling That I could ever dare to dream Is you Forever Moving next to me Let's not waste time Or take this slow We've got miles behind us But miles to go So let's just break this down To the simplest truth You and I as one Will always be better than Colors changing like the times And I'm taking Darling, would you be mine? And I hope you know I will love you For the rest of my life Let's not waste time or take this slow We got miles behind us But miles to go So let's just break this down Simple is true You and I as one Will always be better than two And this is where the hard work comes in on this hike. At this point, you'll be about three miles in, and the grades are going to range anywhere from 14 to 22 percent. Yes, it's quite a workout. Unfortunately, I ended up stopping just short of Coldwater Peak on this hike, just under a mile or so. It was getting late in the day, and I still had to drive back to Salem, Oregon. I found myself a lone tree just above St. Helens and Spirit Lake and had myself some lunch. I could see Mount Rainier, Mount Adams, and Mount Hood from that spot. What a majestic place to break some bread. A few things to remember while doing this hike. One, it's a very hard hike, so be sure to know your fitness level. Also, there's very little shade, so be sure to protect yourself from the sun. I actually saw a few people hiking with umbrellas. And you know what? Not a bad idea. The bugs were kind of bad at the top. And even though they didn't bite, boy, they sure did swarm a lot. They were more of a nuisance than anything else, flying into your eyes and mouth at every chance they could. And the last thing to consider when hiking this trail are the loose rocks. There are lots of them. So be sure to wear great shoes with excellent traction and you shouldn't have any problems. I really hope you enjoyed the views from this spectacular hike. I highly recommend this trail if you get the chance. You will not be disappointed. Take care, safe trails, and God bless. I'm going to be doing today is a boundary, uh, boundary trail, it's boundary trail to Coldwater Peak. I had to get that. That's a lot of, a lot going on there. Um, hey everyone, Jesse here, and today I'm out here, at Mount St. Helens Park, and uh, today I'm going to be doing a trail called Boundary Trail to Coldwater Peak. That trail is about, I guess, around 11.9 miles. Might as well say 12 miles. Um, and it's got a lot of elevation gain. I think the elevation gain on this trail is going to be around, well, I think so around 
12,000, not 12,000 feet. I'm not saying 2,000 feet. 